But first, the murder of a little boy five years ago forever changed the lives of two grandparents in Queensland. Mason Parker's death left the couple in Townsville heartbroken, but it also set them on a course to change child protection laws. And this month, they finally succeeded, with the Queensland government making it mandatory for childcare workers to report suspected cases of abuse. Alison Horne has been following their story since the beginning. It's a big day for John and Sue Sanderman. How are you? The Townsville grandparents have never been to Brisbane, let alone to Parliament House. Good tears. Yeah. It'll be good tears. But above all, today marks the end of a long and painful journey. We shouldn't be doing this. We shouldn't be here. This should have been done years ago. If it hadn't been done years ago, he'd be alive. Um, uh, it's as simple as that. Our grandson had to die for us to be sitting here doing what we're doing. So a life was sacrificed for this, basically, this legislation to be put in place. The Sandermans are about to make history, with Parliament due to pass laws making it mandatory for childcare workers to report suspected cases of abuse. Since that first meeting, I've become a grandmother and you know, even more so now do I understand the passion that John and Sue have, you know, to protect our littlest. The ABC first met the Sandermans several years ago in Townsville. That's for you, little man. Their 16-month-old grandson, Mason Parker, had been murdered. He was um, cheerful. He could amuse himself. He was the most lovable child I've seen. He... Um, he just loved life. The toddler had died from horrific injuries, including a 17 centimetre long skull fracture and a ruptured bowel. His tiny body was covered in more than 50 bruises. Mason was murdered by his mother's boyfriend, Troy William Reed. The ex-army soldier is now serving a life sentence. During the murder trial, the Sandermans discovered a hole in Queensland's child protection system. The first day we went to the first court case, we knew nothing at that stage and then they showed photos of <coughs> bruising to Mason eight days before he was, he died. Mason's childcare workers had taken the photos, but they weren't passed on to the authorities because it wasn't mandatory. I sort of question, well why, they're the most vulnerable, um, why is it in uh, primary schools and secondary schools? I just couldn't see the logic. So started a harrowing five-year campaign to change mandatory reporting laws. You know, they door knocked politicians, they emailed, they wrote, they did, you know, they walked the streets of Townsville getting people to sign petitions, putting it in um, news agents and wherever anybody was prepared to assist them to get the message out. To see you packed up and down here and at the front gates. Tracy Davis was the then Minister for Child Safety. The early petitions fell at her door and were rejected. But after meeting the Sandermans, she became their biggest champion. This is where we're going to talk about any amendments. So Last year in opposition, she proposed a private member's bill. It's brought this self-described ordinary couple right into the heart of power. So you'll be able to see everything that's happening here. In the and provided a rare moment of political unity in a divided house. John and Sue Sanderman have been tireless advocates for this legislative change and they are remarkable people. They have managed to bring the whole community with them. Mason Law to me means a bit like he's going to be remembered forever by a lot of people and Mason's Law, Mason himself, even though he died, he's helped people. He's helped little kids too. And uh, <coughs> I hope he's up there and he's proud of what we've done. I call the member for Asplin. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Very, very pleased to be here. By the time the vote arrives, the Sandermans have been in tears for hours. I know that the passing of this bill will not bring 
your beloved Mason back. But, but on behalf of all children in Queensland, thank you. The grandparents listen for three hours as members speak in support of their cause before five years of campaigning comes to an emotional end. I think the eyes have it. Mason's law is passed. It's just incredible. My little mate's going to be remembered for life. No one's going to forget him. They were uh, listening, even though we didn't realise yeah. that people knew our story. Um, and we thank them. They're amazing people. They're amazing people. Uh, and they're doing this uh, because it's the right thing. From next July, all of Queensland's childcare workers will become mandatory reporters of suspected abuse. Those on the front line believe it will save lives. Well, the biggest difference is that they'll be legally required to report, so it leaves no doubt. People can be uncertain about um, their decisions, un uncertain about what they're seeing, um, whether it's child abuse and neglect, but safety has always got to be paramount. The Sandermans couldn't agree more but deny their efforts to make that happen have been extraordinary. I only think of myself as um, a normal Joe Blow that's um, trying to make a difference in the world. To make it better and to give our little ones a voice because that's all we can do. And for our grandkids and grandkids to know that as long as we live, that we will fight to keep them safe.